Okay, well, I show that we have a quorum of the council in the room. I will call this special meeting of the city council, city of Hillsborough order. Uh, Mr. Stiles, I believe we have a couple items to deal with. Yeah, uh, Danielle will have to read the notice into the record for the okay. uh, of the meeting, so. Okay. We, the undersigned council members of the city of Hillsborough, Kansas, hereby respectfully request that you call a special meeting of the council to be held at City Hall in the Council Room, 118 East Grand Avenue, Hillsborough, Kansas, on Wednesday, May 29, 2024, at 12 p.m. to, one, amend the interlocal agreement with the Hillsborough Community Child Care Center, and two, approve the construction contract with Weens & Company Construction, Inc. for the Hillsborough Community Child Care Center. Uh, Byron McCarty, Ronald Wilkins, Jeffrey Jorgensen, and Blake By filed this 29th day of May, 2024, Danielle Bartle, City Clerk. Thank you. All right, so the first item up is the interlocal agreement, the amendment to that. It is an amendment to the interlocal agreement that we um, we agreed on or adopted on October 4th of 2022, so it goes way back. Uh, we made some revisions to that to show that the uh, Hillsborough Community Child Care Center will be 100% responsible for the operation and maintenance uh, expenses associated with the building rehabilitation of the, of the CDBG grants. Um, and then we make a note about the matching funds of two, $2 million, of which uh, 100, $1,768,050 dollars have been detailed in the community development block grant application submitted to the Department of Commerce. Um, and the Department of Commerce requires that the grant E follow the community development block grant procedures throughout the program. And as such, the sub applicant or the sub grantee, which would be H4C, uh, agrees to follow all those procedures as well. So uh, this assigns, and JT can correct me if I'm wrong, this assigns all the responsibility for the funds related to this project uh, to H4C. Yes, except for the 600 Can't hear you, JT. The answer is yes, you did a good job. Can you unmute him? I don't have to mute him. Let me check. No, I have Is this any better? Should have it. Yeah, it's we're we're green up here. Yeah, I'm green. So. Okay, JT's working on it. Can you hear me now? It says everything's working on my end now. Can you guys hear me? Still nothing, JT. <laughs> <laughs> he says yes. All right. So that's that is the uh, okay. interlocal agreement there. So the interlocal agreement has been reviewed by council and uh, they have... Uh, they have given their thumbs up uh, for the council to uh, to uh, go ahead and, and uh, make that uh, change changes to the agreement. So are there any questions? Hearing none, I'd accept a motion to approve the amended interlocal agreement as submitted. Councilman Wilkins moves. Is there a second? Councilman McCarty seconds. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. The amendment is uh, uh, updated and agreed to. And Mr. Stiles, we now have the construction contract. A couple pages there from uh, the, uh, 103 pages to be exact. Uh, so what this reflects uh, is a change that uh, the Department of Commerce allowed us to add uh, Hillsborough Community Child Care Center as a co-signer for this. Uh, and it sign, assigns the liability for the matching money back into the amendment that you just agreed to. Um, and so this is this is their contract effectively. So it's 
you know, it's got all the bells and whistles that are required for a community development block grant. So basically everything from about page three back uh, is, is all the required documents there. Uh, and then it also has a copy of the bid. So um, in this case, uh, it is adding uh, H4C as an, uh, as a, geez, Louise, an authorized party to this agreement. Is there anything to add to it? <laughs> Is that good, JT? Or I'm assuming you can't hear me, right? I still can't hear you. Is the volume turned Turn up the on volume your TV? Up? Okay. I, yeah, I don't have any. Hold on, hold on. It shows everything's working on my end, so I was wondering if the problem up. could be on your end. I'm all the way up. Ask again. him if he can call on my cell phone. You want to go again? Hey Siri, no. call Lou. You can Thurston call me on my cell. Put him on speaker. Perfect technical issue. I'm not sure what's going on. There we go. Okay, JT. JT. Everything on my end, and it says it's working fine, Lou. So I apologize. No worries. Sure, what's happening? Hey, uh. Yeah, the, the deal on the contract is that we're both signing it now, and it's clear that the city is only obligated on the 600 it actually gets as, as CDBG money and has. The rest is all in need for C responsibility. Okay. Okay. Are there any uh, questions for JT? Thank you, JT. Um, so if there are no questions, I would accept a motion to approve the amended contract uh, as submitted. Councilman By moves, is there a second? Yeah. Councilman McCarty seconds. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The contract is approved, and uh, the mayor, I guess, will sign on behalf of the city, and uh, we will get this party started. <laughs> yes. Thanks, everybody. JD. I know it was a lot of hard work, and and JT, I know we can't hear you, but I I do want this into the record that uh, it, the way this was written up prior to these re most recent changes was not done in a way that we could do legally. And so I, again, appreciate very much the legal counsel that we have that helps us stay on the straight and narrow, keeps us out of trouble. And, uh, you know, we just, we just want you to know how much we appreciate it. I know that Andrew especially felt like he was being the roadblock in, in, uh, I kept telling him no with it. We need to make sure that anything we do is done properly and within the bounds of the law. So we don't want to move as much as we want to move forward on this project. We have to do it in a legal manner. And that's the way we've done it today. And again, thanks to TWG for all your hard work. Thanks, JT. Is there any other uh, is there any other comments or questions? There can't be any other business to come before this meeting, but uh, are there any other questions or comments regarding this action that we've taken today? If I can, I just want to say on behalf of H4C, thank you guys so much for gathering together um, and coming short notice for this special meeting. And again, to um, the attorneys that helped to make this possible. We definitely understood and respected that it needed to be done in a lawful way, and we supported that. So we're very glad that we're able to hit the ground running now and um, be able to send that to the contractor and hopefully put us back on our timeline. So just want to say thank you so much to all of you. Thank you, Tristan. Appreciate the work that H4C has done and will continue to do. Yeah. <laughs> all, the, all the extra hard work starts now. Yeah. So so uh, I guess last two words are, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this meeting is adjourned.